The Diecast Guy presents a Johnny Lightning review. What is up, everybody? The Diecast Guy is back at you again. Today is going to be the first video that I do a depth, full depth review of some Johnny Lightning cars. Which, Johnny Lightning back in 1969, the brand Johnny Lightning officially launched. Then it went, then they continued doing it, releasing cars, all the way until 2013, when the brand was officially discontinued, and some years later, Johnny Lightning was brought back and is still releasing cars to this day. Alright, now let's get into the Johnny Lightning review here. You can see this is a Johnny Lightning, one of the Demolition Derby lines. Actually, in two different Demolition Derby lines. Alright, you guys. I'm going to pause the video. Be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. And these were cars that were released in 2011 with the Demolition Derby line. As they are both 1973 Chevrolet Caprice Wagons. And, of course, and then this one here, you can see it says Johnny Lightning Demolition Derby. They're in some small packages here. And this one here is the number 999. I'm going to shut the flash off for just a sec. Right, let me know if you guys can see this okay, but I'm doing this so it doesn't glare on the plastic here. Alright, it says... Number 999, Steiner Auto, hold on just a sec here, since, Steiner Auto since 1969, JL Towing, nice work on the hood there with a skull with some bones and flame work, the front of the car looks like it even features an opening hood, the back of the car, and, of course, I'm going to turn the flash on for this one for just a sec. Alright, you guys can kind of see that has rubber tires. And, of course, um, and now I'm going to flip it to the back. You guys can read this if you want, but this was a release in 2011. Alright, I'm going to sit this car back off to the side and get this one. Alright you guys, this is the same car, only has a different casting, the same Johnny Lightning Demolition Derby. Then here's the, um, the wording, 1973 Chevrolet Caprice Wagon, and it says Crusher on it, because that's what it is, and it's the Crusher, number 86, looks like the driver must be named Harry Bell, and then the car on the front fender is <laughs> dirty hairy. I'm going to turn off the flash. Alright. If you guys can see this better, just let me know here. Alright, then we got this one right here. Buckeyes Pub. And here's the back of the car. With the muscular guy there on the trunk. And then the front of the car. Got the top of the car right there, nice racing stripes, number on top with the driver's name, and it says 402, that means it must have 402 horsepower. Alright, and it even features, I guess it features um, plastic tires with silver linings and golden rims. Alright, let's see if we can get this camera to focus as I try to look at the bottom. Is this one here, I believe, features plastic tires. While this one features rubber. You can tell from the look. Alright, you guys. I'm going to flip it to the back real quick. Here's the same stuff on the back. Alright, guys. I'm going to get one more car. Be right back. Alright guys, this one's a 2018 release, another 
Demolition Derby. As you can tell, this one's much different, and it has the stuff on the cover art. I'm going to turn off the flash real quick. Alright. Here we go. We have the car, number 40. And it says, on, on the wagon. And it says, off. And off my... On the wagon and off my rocker. <laughs> like that one. Nice blue color with the red hood. And, and it's a 1965 Chevrolet Chevelle wagon. Limited edition. One of 3,700. Here's the, the color right there. Actually, there's uh, facts and stuff right there. If you want to, you can pause the video and read it, but you do not have to. The little card behind it with the picture of the car. And the car even has rubber tires, black tires with orange rims, followed by a white line down the middle. Hmm. There's this right here. I'm going to turn the flash back on for a sec. As you can see, it features rubber tires. Not those plastic ones. And now, I'm shutting the flash back off. Here's all the stuff on the back of it. And if you want to, you can pause the video and read it, but you do not have to. It's up to you. Alright, guys. That's it. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.